Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over some of my most anticipated reads coming up on my TBR. There are a ton of new releases this year that I'm super excited about as well as a few older books that are very good that I just haven't gotten around to and a lot of these are also recommendations from my friends, family, and others. Without further ado let's jump into the books. This book has been absolutely adored and talked about endlessly on booktube but I have yet to read it so that is going to go on my TBR number one and that is Jade City. My husband is reading this currently and I am super excited to jump into this as well. This book is an urban fantasy that focuses on a gang war between two crime boss families and the politics that are happening behind the scenes especially when they're trying to struggle over control over a certain drug that is hitting the streets. It has been regaled as being amazing as well as the sequel and they have won tons of awards respectively, and I am just so excited to get into this. I love a dark fantasy, and I really like urban fantasies when they focus on gangs and gang politics. I think that's the most interesting part of urban fantasies that you can look at. I guess I just always like rooting for the bad guys like a little bit. So yeah, I'm super excited to pick this up. If you haven't heard of Jade City or Jade War, I would recommend taking a look into them. And if you like dark urban fantasy or gang politics of any kind, definitely check this series out. The second most anticipated read for me is going to be A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. I really loved the first book in this series, An Ember in the Ashes, and I'm really stoked to get further into the world and kind of start to understand what is going on because the first book is just very confusing. You can tell that it's written in true epic fantasy form where you're not supposed to have all the puzzle pieces to put together the plot just yet. So I'm really excited to start piecing things together as well as get even more confused, I'm sure, as we start to explore the world beyond this one training camp that you've been focusing on for the first book. I really like the characters in this and I do think that it's a very well written style. This is a young adult fantasy but honestly I believe that it's more in the NA category not necessarily because of themes although there are some very dark themes in this book but mostly because it does follow that adult epic fantasy plot arc that I think a lot of people from adult fantasy are drawn to. And so either way, I would really recommend taking a look into this book, even if you don't read YA fantasy too often, or if you read YA fantasy all the time and you haven't picked up an Ember in the Ashes yet in this series, definitely do it. This series is all about a girl named Leia and a boy named Elias. They come from two completely different social stations in life. One of them, Leia, is a scholar that is discriminated against and treated as slaves. While Elias is a mask, a deadly group of people who have been trained to basically subjugate the whole continent under the Empire. And it is a wild ride. It's definitely a beautiful world that it feels very familiar and yet far removed from our own. So if you really like Aladdin, for example, I think you would like the world that this is set in as well, because it does kind of pull a lot of those uh, inspirations. The next book that I'm super excited to read is going to be The Priory of the Orange Tree. This book is definitely a big one and uh, I usually really love big books because whenever I read a 400 page book I think you know this would be amazing if it was only longer and they were able to delve into things in more detail. I have heard that's not an issue with this book and so I'm super excited to get into it. This is an LGBTQ plus fantasy that focuses on court politics, assassins, secret societies of mages, pretty much everything you could want from the fantasy world building tropes. And I am super excited to read it because it sounds amazing and we definitely need some more representation in fantasy and especially adult fantasy because I feel like YA is starting to include more of those characters in their books but I feel like adult fantasy has been kind of falling behind on that so I'm really excited for this book to be out and to definitely spend a lot of time on it. This one might surprise a lot of you but I have actually never read it even though I am a huge fan of this author. She's my favorite author of all time but that is the Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. This is the prequel to the Throne of Glass series. I just never got around to it. I know people say that you should read the prequel after Crown of Midnight which is the second book so there's no spoilers but I just read all of the series all the way through and I never really kind of got the time to throw this one in there but I do love 
all of these characters. I don't want to spoil anything. And so I'm really excited to see where they got their beginnings. I'm really excited to see Selena actually being an assassin before she gets to Endovier. It's going to be awesome and a wild ride. So I'm, I really want to read this and I can't believe I put it off this long. And just when I read Crescent City and thought that I was all done with Sarah J Mass for the meanwhile, I realized that I have some catching up to do. So I am really excited about this. If you somehow don't know about the Throne of Glass series, it is a young adult fantasy series all about Selena, who is an assassin who has been put into a death camp called Endovier, and she is broken out by the crown prince to compete in a competition to become the king's champion, which is basically just a royal assassin, essentially. So it's really interesting. The whole series is one of my favorite series of all time. So yeah, I, it's kind of a no-brainer that I should be really excited to read this one and that I probably should have read it already. But yeah, that is that is gonna be a, a really fun read for me. Now let's get into some new releases because there are a ton of books that are coming out this year that I cannot wait to read and a lot of continuations of series. So let's start with the one that is the closest to coming out and that is A Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I love the From Blood and Ash series. I think it's fantastic. And while I don't really like Wicked all that much, it's also coming out with a TV show. Actually, I believe the trailer dropped today, the day I'm filming this. So I read the Wicked series, didn't love it that much, but From Blood and Ash, I absolutely adored. I thought Poppy was such a great character. She was super sarcastic and kind of mean, but also just like a wonderful person. And I, I really like her as a character. She is not a damsel in distress by any means. And then there's Hawk, who's just witty and sarcastic, and it's the guards to lovers tropes and enemies to lovers trope. And that's just like my bread and butter. So after the events of A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire and that great ending that just left me going, what the fuck is happening? I am really excited to finally be getting some answers and to finally see Poppy in this new place, not giving spoilers, and kind of see what happens from there. I think that there's going to be a really epic plot that begins. So. Let's fingers crossed. I really hope this is good. And yes, I really hope it's spicy and lives up to a kingdom of flesh and fire because that was great. The next book that's coming out in November is going to be the third book in the Skyward trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. They do not have a cover reveal or a name for it yet, although that is coming soon. I know Brandon Sanderson really wanted to name it Nowhere, but he did not get his way with his publishers. It is Brandon Sanderson's YA sci-fi series, which is amazing. I loved Mistborn and I love this series so much. Skyward follows our protagonist Spensa as she is growing up on this planet with a human colony on it. It, which uh, I always say the name wrong. I always said detritus, but apparently it's detritus. Either way you say it, it is a wild ride with tons of adventure happening, a great world to build off of, and of course an enemy alien race coming to bomb them from the stars, and a basically air force or space force that has to go out and meet them and take them head on in order to protect their civilization. It is equal parts Ender's Game and Top Gun, and it is a crazy fun adventure. I would highly recommend this to anyone, whether you like YA specifically or adult. It's so much fun, and Brandon Sanderson is kind of a direct, easygoing writer, so you know that you can just go through these so quickly. As well as these starfighting sequences are so good. They are fast paced. They are described the perfect way that they need to be. And I really have not heard a lot of negative response or criticism about this series. It's really great. I love these books. So that's gonna be really exciting. And that should be coming out in November, hopefully. That is at least the tentative release date as of right now. The final book I'm gonna be talking about on here is going to be the second book in the Crescent City series. We did not have a release date yet, a title, or even a cover, and yet I cannot help but say how excited I am for the second book in this series. The first book I just read in March and it absolutely grabbed my heart and changed something in me fundamentally. I love Bryce, the main character. I loved the world. I 
thought that the theme of grief just hit home in a way that I cannot describe in words accurately enough. I really love this series and yet on booktube all I see is like rant reviews and people just shitting on it and I feel really bad about that but it does it just means so much to me so I'm so excited to see Bryce again. I know Sarah J Mass has said that there will actually be some uh spicy scenes in the next book. There really wasn't any in the first and I was kind of surprised by that, but it didn't matter. I mean, I loved the book regardless. I also just really want to see if Sarah J Maas sticks to her kind of guns in making it so that the first love interest does not survive the series. I guess we'll find out. I know a lot of people are already making fan theories about who it's going to be that replaces Hunt. Personally, I think that this might surprise everyone. I think she'll stick with Hunt. I really do. I think we might focus on some romances for some other characters, but honestly, I, I think there's enough there that Hunt really hasn't done anything that makes Sarah J Maas take him out of the rotation. I don't know if that made sense. Either way, I I just can't wait. I cannot wait. If you haven't read Crescent City yet, it is Sarah J Maas's adult fantasy series. It is an urban fantasy and it focuses on Bryce who is half fae and who has just gone through a terrible loss. And she is currently dealing with that motions while also trying to fit into a society that kind of discriminates against her. Sarah J Maas does a great job of making each of her books focus on some kind of human experience, I guess. Anyway, yeah, Crescent City is great. Read Crescent City. More people should like Crescent City. Don't be so hard on it. It's great. All right, that is it for this video, guys. There are a ton of more books that I want to read. I have about 50 books in my physical TBR that are literally on my shelves right now, but those ones are the ones that I am most excited to read and hoping to read sooner rather than later. If you guys have any recommendations for books that you think I would love, or you are super excited about your own releases coming out, definitely drop it in the comments. I would love to know what everyone is reading and what they are super excited and stoked to read. Anyways guys, that is it and we'll see you in the next video.